Hello students, you are welcome to a lesson of physics practicals. Today we are going to proceed with our topic uh, mechanics in our physics practicals. And our topic for today, I'm going to teach you the simple pendulum with the logarithm. The simple pendulum with logarithm concept. So be together from the starting up to the end of this lesson. I will show you here how will be how you are going to put the graph and how to make a comparison from the general simple pendulum equation with the logarithm. That is our lesson. Be together, you will understand. Our experiment, the question is. We have the, the equation T periodic time is directly proportional to the length and this one. You can read this in the equation during your simple pendulum experiment. And your graph, you are required to plot the graph. You are required to plot the graph of log log t against against t log l. It means this is y axis. This is a x axis. So, how to how long was it, how long have been applied from this equation? What would be the nature of a graph? What would be the value of slope? And uh, how the equation reached here? If you are the student, make sure you we are together here and uh, you understood it. It means this is the periodic time. This is the length of the pendulum. So what is about this one? And how this equation reached here? I will start with this question and then I will show how this question have been derived to reach at here this equation. We start with this one. In order to reach here, this log t against the log L or log of the length will be this one. From this one you apply log you apply logarithm. It means will be will be log t. Before this one, it means this one will remove this one. We remove the direct proportion. Will be t is equal to constant and this one. Then when we apply logarithm will be log t is equal to log k because this is multiplication. Multiplication in logarithm is the addition. So it will be plus log and log this one. But in the logarithm, this one will be in this side. So the coming question will be log log t is equal to log k log k plus this one log l. 
since our graph is log g against log l, we have to rearrange this one according to our graph. And we are going to compare with the linear equation. We see the nature of a graph. So it means according to this equation, because x axis is log l, this and this one, we have to change the position. So we be log t log t is equal to this one log log l plus log log k that is our graph when you put y is equal to m x plus c it means according to this nature of the graph log t is y axis this one a is equal to m which is the gradient or which is the slope and log l is x axis but c is equal to y intercept so the nature of the graph will be our positive slope our slope is positive so our graph will be straight that is the first indication please here there is log t log log l right log l so if we be straight how will be the intercept y intercept is positive so our graph will cut across here this is y positive that means a is equal to slope but c is equal to log k in order to find the value of k we are going to put inverse of log it means this is base 10 so k will be will be less than power y intercept because y intercept is equal to here so that is will be power for c so value of a is equal to slope value of k is equal to base 10 power y intercept That is our general equation for our equation for this simple program with the logarithms. So, how this equation reached here at this point or at this t direct proportion to the length of a? From general equation of simple pendulum, now I'm going to show you how this equation reached here and uh, we are going to make a comparison between this one and the general equation from the simple pendulum. Let's we go to drive step by step and then you will understood at the end of this derivation. From the general equation of the pendulum, let's say I'm going to show you the equation of this one. The general equation of the pendulum is, is equal to periodic time is equal to 2 pi under root length 
or by G. By using this equation, you are going to, to reach here and then to reach here. And it makes the comparison. What will be the value of A? What will be the value of K? In normal, this one, G, is equal to 2 pi. But this one, under root G. This one, under root, is equal to L of power, a half. And then, because this is G, gravity is under under root G, also will be under G power a half. G power a half. G power a half. That is step number one. Then we proceed is equal to G is equal to two times L bracket I over gravity power a half. In mathematical, this one is equal to 3.14 and this one g, g is equal to 9.86 but g power a half will be is equal to 3.4, 3.14 so it means this one is equal to 3.14 so this and this one is equal to 1. So if is equal to 1 would be t is equal to 2 L power a half times 1. So it means this cancel. So this will be now means. That's why this one will let this is K and this one is equal to A. That's why which means T is equal to K and A. I think you have understood about the equation from here up to here. It means when we move this one, it means it will be t is, t is equal to our direct portion to L of A, which is the same will be this one. Do you have understood? When we make a comparison with this one, our question will be as the following. T is equal to 2 L power a half. When we apply logarithm, apply log will be log t is equal to log e2 plus log e l a half 
because our graph y axis is equal to L V log T is equal to a half log L plus log 2 so this one and this one let's make a comparison so v log t is equal to a log l plus log k so that is a comparison which are there in our equation so it means the value of a is equal to a half and the log k k is equal to to 2 so it means from this one from the graph the nature of the graph is this one here there is c it means log k it means c c is equal to log 2 which is equal to 0 0.3010 that is the reality so in order to get k it means b k is equal to so c is equal to k will be base 10 power 0 0.3 0 10 it means the value of k will be base 10 power log 2 so by making comparison our question was this one from general equation of the single pendulum to logarithm that is our mechanics, simple pendulum with the logarithm concept. I think for this time we have understood, apart from finding the data, the issue is the question derivation to see the relationship, the comparison between logarithm question and this general equation. I think you have understood. For this time, thank you for your contribution. We'll meet another day, another time.